y'all. <laughs> we got another Juice Smollett on our hands. Another, wait a minute. What drugs are y'all taking? Because who, who stages a fake hate crime? Who, who, who does such a thing? I mean, apparently, former NFL, and I'm reading it while I'm looking over here. Um, courtesy of Channel 2 Action News in Atlanta. Um, out here in Metro Atlanta in Gwinnett County, business owner and former NFL players facing criminal charges after destroying his business and writing racial slurs on the walls in attempt to make it look like a burglary. Now, Krogman is his name. Apparently, Edwin, Ed, well, it looked like Ed Don, Don, Ed Don Lewis Kaufman. He played for the Washington Redskins, the Dallas Cowboys, the Arizona Cardinals, but apparently, this, <laughs> listen, this 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 idiot went in his own restaurant. According to the police, he went in his own restaurant, wrote the Nazi sign, spray painted the Nazi sign, put mega everywhere, uh, put racial slurs, monkey, nigga, and all that other stuff. Snatch TVs off the wall, trash the place. <laughs> the Trump hate is so real. It, what 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 does I I think they coined it TDS. TDS is at a all time high for you to do this. Tear down the TVs in your store. Destroy your business in a prominent neighborhood in Duluth County. Duluth is a prominent neighborhood in Metro Atlanta. And you would destroy that all because of your TDS. You wrote Mega everywhere. You put up the Shashkawa. I think that's how you pronounce it. With the Nazi sign for those that don't really know that just know that's the Nazi sign you wrote monkey and nigga everywhere now here's the kicker listen <laughs> I don't know what drugs y'all taking but y'all need to stop because <laughs> here's the kicker somebody saw you the maintenance man saw you well, he didn't see you particular, but he saw that it looked like the place was being burglarized. So he called 911. And anybody who know anything about Gwinnett County, the police is everywhere. And when I say everywhere, I mean the police is everywhere. They was there less than two minutes. Listen. The dude riding around with no tag, according to the police report. So they pulled him over because he was leaving from the area with no tag on his car. So then he gets pulled over. They asked him who he was. He says, I am a business owner over here. They said they looked in the back seat. They saw two flat screen TVs that looked like they had been ripped out the wall because they still had the, the mounts on them and sheetrock still attached to the mount. And he had spray paint on his hands. I'm confused. And you driving with no tag? You driving in Gwinnett County in Duluth with no tag 
after you burglarize your own store. Put up the Nazi symbols, wrote racial slurs, and I seen the pictures. You got mega everywhere. So you wanted to seem like they was trying to run you out. Maybe your cupcakes were no good. I don't know. And definitely maybe you took too many hits in the NFL. Because your TDS is very real. Wait. <laughs> this gets even better. Listen. <laughs> this gets better. This idiot called the insurance company before he got pulled over by the police. Before he got pulled over by the police, he called the insurance company. I figured he called them immediately. Guess what? That's how the police really got him because they got with that he had already called the insurance company. So he's charged with. He's facing three charges, insurance fraud, making a false report, and a tag violation. They should hit that nigga with vandalism. Mm -hmm. um, listen. Destruction of private property. Destruction of private property. Listen, this fake hate. I don't know what's going on. Why y'all setting up these fake hate crimes? Stop it. Listen, I know you don't want to hear this. And I'm sorry to tell you, you're going to get four more years. I don't know what else you want me to goddamn tell you. Say so. I'm sorry. Nah. So, with that being said, stop with the fake hate crimes. Because you ain't doing nothing but hurting yourself. Then you make us look bad. You make, you, right. Hey, yeah, you, idiot. You, 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 you make black men look bad. We look bad. So four more years or not, which is most likely not. Um, we, we, you, you, you make us look bad. Still makes everybody look bad. You make us look bad. Everybody. I, Especially listen. business owners, entrepreneurs, all across the board. You are a little retard. They need to have you checked out. Mm -hmm. They need to transfer you from Gwinnett County down to Grady and put you in the psych ward. Because only crazy people would do something this retarded. Only somebody who is not in their right mind. Somebody who are off that. Like I said, maybe you took too many hits. I don't know. But what I do know is this has to be the dumbest and the greatest, highest level of TDS I've ever seen. Hmm. TV has too damn stupid. Let's say that. I'll take that. But it's coin Trump the rain syndrome. So you I who fakes a hate crime? Listen, Juicy Smoley Smoley has already told you it don't work. Didn't you learn anything from Juicy? No. You didn't, it didn't work. Juicy Smoulet, it didn't work. Stop, stop. Listen, stop it. This is ridiculous. Y'all are too grown to be doing this foolishness. Stop, stop it. Damn, J just, just stop it. So, I'm gonna put the link to the story in the description box. Um, make sure y'all come and tune in to the Wake Bacon Coffee Morning Show. That's on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays live right here on YouTube. That's right. Gov gone. It's the Wake Bank and Coffee Morning Show. Live with Georgia First Black Governor. Y'all know what time it is. Mama Quita. Y'all know what time it is. Mama Quita. Love series. Mama Quita. Y'all know what time it is.